Welcome back to Parlay, the show where you folks support the other stuff I make by paying me monthly to talk about the topic of your choice. And this month, Derby TW has requested some discussion about a YOLO solo, hardcore parkour, disgraced IMC pilot, fighting as a legend in the Apex games. Uh, Derby says, all right, Apex Legends, but they added a new legend. A disgraced uh, interstellar mining company? That's what IMC stands for, right? Um, this is the Titanfall 2 Apex Legends universe. Losing their Titan, their closest pal, the IMC refuses to give them a new Titan. So the pilot enters into the Apex games to earn the cash to get a Titan themselves. What a badass. The only thing they have is their top-tier pilot training and their jump kit, including all the mechanics from Titanfall 2. Wall kicks, wall runs, slide hopping. Could a sufficiently good player make this character OP, even without an ult or tactical? Uh, and you've got a little spoilered out part that maybe that's your opinion on the subject. Uh, so I'll say what I think first, and then we'll look at that. Cool. Um, so let's get definitions going. Uh, basically what Derpy is asking here is, in Apex Legends, what if you had a, a character you could pick that was like basically a Titanfall 2 pilot with no other abilities. If you're not familiar, Apex Legends uh, doesn't have all of the same you know movement tech as Titanfall 2 did. But for example, a Titanfall 2 pilot can wall run and do a double jump. And, you know, there's these movement abilities. Bunny hopping is another really big one. Would that stuff be sufficient as like the, the abilities for an Apex Legends legend? Would it be balanced? Would they be good? Would they be OP? You know, what do we what do we think? This is a hard question. Um, I think that the the two main things to consider, uh, besides like obviously they wouldn't actually do this because it would be a mostly passive character rather than having abilities. It would it just really really wouldn't fit the game. But uh, but the first thing to talk about is uh, what what can they do? How does that compare to what other legends effectively accomplish with their abilities? Can they kind of keep up using their parkour utility and second of all how does that fit into the game as a whole like are there ways in which uh, weapons would be better or worse uh, if you had those abilities and uh, so for the first thing we should think about what it accomplishes to have a tactical ability in apex legends uh, when you use you know bangalore's smoke or uh, just throw a grenade in in a battle royale game what what does that do the way I like to think of these games is that they're a bit like real-time action uh, chess, maybe, let's say. So, you know, a lot of the time, the circle's gotten real small, and you're in the final buildings or whatever, and it becomes obvious where the other teams probably are a lot of the time, and you have a grenade. This will not kill them, probably. Uh, it's pretty unlikely they're going to be in a position where you'd throw that and they would just stand there and die. No, they're going to run away from it. It's got a long fuse, you know, they'll see that coming. But they will then run, you know, somewhere else. And maybe maybe there's a controlled place they'll probably run, and then you'd have a very good line of sight to shoot them and kill them and win. The grenade is a positioning tool, kind of, like a weird reverse positioning tool, if you assume it won't kill them. Do you see what I mean? So uh, a lot of other characters have abilities that effectively do that. Uh, you know, yes, Revenant's skill does lock their tactical ability, and it doesn't do that much damage. But at the end of the day, it's kind of a zone control tool, just like Fuse's cluster, Knuckle Clusters. Uh, they're not the same. I'm not saying those are exactly the same. But it boils down to the ability to pressure an area like that. And, you know, one way in which Apex Legends balances this is that these abilities usually have the same number of charges. The Bangalore has two smokes, Revenant has two of his little things, a Fuse has two knuckle clusters. That's not true of every ability like this, but, you know, it is kind of like that. And you could do a whole thing about comparing these abilities from that perspective. Valkyrie only has one volley of her rockets, and she does need vertical clearance to fire them, but they go much further and they apply a slow if you can hit with them. Uh, that's a trade-off. I don't think they're better or worse. They clearly do something that's just different. Uh, but if you try to use them like those other abilities, they really are just worse. Uh, they come out slower. You only get one. The area they hit is different. Um, they have their own strengths. So it's okay if our IMC pilot doesn't have something that exactly does that. 
However, they're probably going to fall behind if they don't have any way to pressure enemy positions. Does that make sense? So if they're in the final circle and all they have is whatever grenades they could hold on to, but other characters have that plus, you know, they might have their tactical or something, that seems quite bad. They would need something pretty good to kind of outweigh that. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in the next section with the way that Apex Legends is structured, because some positional advantages, like the ability to wall run, depend quite heavily on whether there are wall runnable environments in Apex Legends. Uh, spoiler alert, there, there kind of aren't, but, <laughs> but it's not that simple, so we'll talk about it. Um, and of course, in Titanfall 2, you would have had the ability to choose something like Pathfinder's Grapple or uh, Wraith's Phase thing. Uh, these became legends in Apex Legends, but in Titanfall 2, you would have been able to pick from one of those to augment those movement abilities. The pilot's jump kit and parkour abilities were never really meant to be sufficient on their own. So if we're going to try to get them to be, we're going to need to figure out what the most powerful ones are. And I think this it's basically just bunny hopping. Uh, in Titanfall 2, you could do a thing where uh, if you slid and then hopped, you could kind of bounce off the ground, losing very little, almost no speed, uh, whereas you very quickly lose speed if you do that in Apex Legends. So just to be clear, the physics in Apex Legends don't allow you to do this. We're assuming this character has like the physics from Titanfall 2 acting upon them, which might be somewhat of a nightmare to program. Or maybe maybe it'd be easy. You could just adjust their friction values or something. It depends how they've coded that. I don't know enough about programming to know. But, uh, but just to be clear, that's what we're dealing with. So uh, if they get some momentum, they slide down a slope. Our IMC pilot can theoretically bunny hop and fly all over the map, uh, except up hills in a way that other legends really can't. Uh, this character would be like outlandishly faster than every other legend in most situations. But there are some problems, again, we're going to get into that in the next section, but the big one is that going up slopes maybe not as favorable, and uh, if you haven't noticed, Apex Legends has a lot of those, so, <laughs> so that's, that's a whole thing. Um, but again, we'll get into that a bit more in the next section. Um, my initial impression is I don't think that these abilities would be that strong. They would be useful, uh, but they don't provide the same type of interaction that uh, tacticals and ultimates and stuff do. They don't provide the ability to just make the map different for a moment. Basically, they don't give you zone control. Uh, at least that's what I think. They do allow a character to uh, maneuver very quickly, but this doesn't allow you to prevent being affected by other zone control necessarily if there's just a limited environment to move in. I think in the early and mid game, this character would be really, really good, but once they're forced to just stand there and fight, I feel like their advantages mostly disappear and they will be controlled by the other legends abilities that can just do stuff to the map, you know? Uh, I'm not sure that's bad, you know, some amount of success in Apex Legends comes from getting a good position, like reaching a favorable position. And wouldn't this character be very good at that? I guess so, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I, I worry that it wouldn't be enough of an advantage against other teams that were actually paying attention. Uh, you would end up being in a almost strictly worse situation than they were. Now, there are other much more advanced uh, movement techniques from Titanfall 2, most of which I'm not entirely familiar with. Um, and I think that a lot of them have passed over in some small way to Apex Legends. You might be familiar with, I don't know what the community is calling it, but there's this thing where if you like punch a certain angle of wall, it works in Apex Legends, you kind of get a boost of speed as you fly backwards, and you can use this to kind of juke people. It's small, but you know, meaningful. You can kind of do like a wall kick thing by fiddling with the physics engine basically in apex legends so other legends do have extremely niche you know very nerfed forms of uh of the titanfall 2 mobility tools <laughs> and uh they are only even a little useful to the highest level players and even then i think they're you know th they matter uh but i i don't think they're a substitute for tactical abilities um, these are basically the stratagems employed by the other legends, and not having any of them, I mean, I don't know. I'm not even sure that even more movement utility would outweigh the benefit of having those tactical abilities. So maybe 
uh, maybe a surprising opinion. Uh, Titanfall 2's movement is crazy, and you would be able to really, really cook it. You could really butt scoot all over the map. Um, not all over the map, but over a lot of the map. Uh, but I don't think that that is a, uh, a comparable substitute. I think you would still end up dying to the effects that the movement abilities gave. Again, players with a very high skill level would probably be able to get like a lot of kills, uh, but I don't think it would make you succeed. You know, so it kind of depends uh, what you mean by success. In the battle royale games, uh, you drop with a bunch of people, and then almost everybody dies. And if you view that as losing, then hmm, I, you, maybe you're going to have a bad time. So if we view this character's power level as the ability to get a lot of kills, but not really win games outright, then you know if we redefine winning that way. I guess they're really good, which is another reason why they would never make this character, <laughs> because it would feel almost like a griefing focus character where you get you kill a lot of people, but that player will it will never result in victory for that player. Uh, and that is you know, nudging close to the idea of playing kind of disingenuously, not actually intending to succeed. So uh, that's what I think about that. Uh, not looking good for our, our pilot, but I think there are a few other interesting points and also some potential. Uh, edge cases for what exactly our, our IMC pilot is able to do from Titanfall 2. So this is the second part we're going to talk about uh, the parameters of Apex Legends changing the viability of some of these things. Well, the first obvious thing is that many of the surfaces in Apex Legends are not built for wall running, so it is significantly less powerful than it would be in Titanfall 2, where a lot of the sides of the map were built to be smooth so you could wall run on them. Now, that's not true in a lot of parts of Apex Legends. There are some places where it is true, uh, and it would be really good. But there are a lot of places where it isn't the case. A lot of buildings aren't built with the height to be practical for wall running, or don't really have the architecture. There are, are I think, surprisingly few locations that are suitable to wall running. And getting through the open areas in Apex Legends by uh, bunny hopping across them with that momentum is very effective, but the other second problem is that Apex Legends is often built around having these kind of basins, these areas that you're in. You could fly right in there, but then this IMC pilot doesn't really have any enhanced ability to leave those areas. And the thing is, like, every character in Apex Legends can kind of get in really quick. Yes, this character can maintain that momentum better, but a lot of characters' tacticals or ultimates let them get out of these arenas really quickly. So you don't even really have a movement advantage. You're just you're just fast in a different situation than other legends, and they also have their tacticals for other purposes. Uh, is I just think that's not a very favorable comparison. Finally, this is kind of a weird one, but I think weapons are a big factor. First of all, in Titanfall 2, there were a lot of weapons that were very suited to moving very quickly. Um, I think of a weapon I really enjoyed in Titanfall 2, the Cold War. Um, this was a four-round burst fire energy grenade launcher. You would uh, charge it up and it would go and shoot four little grenades. There was a very brief charge of time that so you could kind of pre-fire it. I will never forget that noise until the day I die. And then it would fire a, a moderate recoil four-round burst of these energy grenades. Um, if you were used to the movement and you charged up at the right moment, you could fly by, and in the one instant that you were in line of sight of an enemy, you'd brrr and then fly at a million miles per hour as you're bunny hopping across the roofs, and people would die. Um, you could kill people really, really quickly in Titanfall 2, uh, with relatively imprecise aim while flying around on your ass at a thousand miles per hour uh, using these weapons that where I'm going with this of course is we don't have in Apex Legends. <laughs> Obviously if you're an absurdly skilled player you might be able to do that with like wingman headshots or whatever. Um, I'm sure you can very skilled players could still hit people but the weapons in Apex Legends are not as conducive to that as they were in Titanfall 2. Additionally, obviously the scale of the map is frequently just larger, like there are longer sight lines, snipers are a bit more of a thing. Now, I don't see anybody realistically getting a hit on you with a sniper rifle when you're flying around, butt scooting across the map, bunny hopping as this character. But I do still think the, the ability to strike enemies from far away with a sniper rifle 
it does kind of put a damper on the ability to move really quickly. Could you not just use a weapon with longer range <laughs> rather than hurling your body toward the enemies, <laughs> right? Um, because there are such huge sight lines in this game so frequently, I just feel like that does put a bit of a damper on how valuable it is to move around quickly. Uh, this is more interesting than I thought. When I first read this question, I thought, oh, it would be kind of good. Yeah, like that's an interesting idea. But as I'm talking about it, at least from my perspective, I'm thinking, no, nah, it would be surprisingly bad, actually. I would love it if they added the movement utility from uh, Titanfall 2 to Apex. I'd love it if they added Titans from Titanfall 2 to Apex, but it'd be a totally different game. Um, one last thing, I mentioned like the the edge cases of what exactly having the Titanfall 2 movement mechanics means. Um, this might seem like it doesn't qualify, but I don't know. I came to mind. Um, what about the ability to cook grenades? Can you do this in Titanfall? I mean, in Apex, and I'm just an idiot. But anyway, in Titanfall 2 and a lot of games, you can pull the pin out of a frag grenade, and you know there's a set timer, there's a set fuse, and then you can throw it some amount of time after you've pulled the pin, which is risky. If you hold it, you'll just die but you can then have it explode more rapidly once it hits the area it's in, um, which makes it harder to react to. That was really powerful once you got used to it. Again, especially alongside that ability to butt scoot around really fast. Having an explosive weapon that doesn't require too much precision and kills pretty easily in a small area while being able to move at that speed, that was a lot of the power of those abilities. Uh, objectives. We'll put a pin in it in just a minute. Um, that's also something that's different. But anyway, does our IMC pilot get the ability to cook grenades? Can you do this in Apex and I'm just stupid? I might just be very stupid. Uh, and you can actually do that in Apex currently. But I don't think you can, and that would be powerful. I Again, I don't think sufficient. Uh, that would also, I think it would feel really bad. You'd be used to a frag grenade not blowing up immediately, except against this one character. Um, but we've established they would never make this character. So... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know that I do think that would be powerful. Um, would that maybe make up for the character's lack of ability to use tacticals and ultimates as like zoning tools that I mentioned earlier, if they could throw a grenade and it would immediately explode, that would be like a level of threat that would be, uh, like they would feel really bad again. They would never put this in the game, but I, I, maybe that, maybe that is kind of okay. That's a very specific change though. A very frag grenade focused character. I don't know. Um, I also feel like that kind of eats Fuse's lunch. Shouldn't Fuse be able to do that, you know, rather than this character? I don't know. Um, but anyway, a uh, bit of a Fuse fan over here. Uh, yes, while I was talking about that, I wanted to quickly mention the objectives. Yeah, like another big thing about that movement tech is that it was more important to move around quickly basically all of the time, whereas in Apex Legends, you could argue it's kind of the opposite. If you have good positioning, moving around more is usually bad. I just do it because I get bored uh, of waiting. Whereas in, in Titanfall 2, you'd be doing capture the flag or something, and you wanted to be rocketing across the map constantly, like to win, not just to get kills, uh, or the objective was to get kills. In Apex Legends, it isn't. Well, except when it, when it is. But, but anyway, you see what I'm trying to say. Um, so finally, I do think that really recontextualizes that strength. No, I think it's excellent uh, about Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends game design that the characters are designed to be good at the things that are good in the game. That's a really fun form of power fantasy. Sometimes you make the character um, make something challenging for the player by making the character bad at the thing that is good to be able to do in context to make it feel valuable. But you can also design a game so the player is unusually good at the thing that you want to be good at to make the game, I guess, really hardcore, um, but fun. A really simple example of something that uh, it doesn't work well from a balance perspective, but that does this is Warframe PvP. The movement freedom in Warframe makes it stupidly difficult to hit people in PvP because you can basically fly. Um, you just have way too much movement freedom, um, which makes it at like an ultra inaccessible, hyper sweaty uh, game mode that nobody really plays. Uh, but I, I, I've always thought that was kind of interesting. It's like, what if you make the player too good at the thing you'd want to be good at in a shooter? like movement, basically. Uh, what if you turn that dial up to 11, whereas Titanfall turns up that movement freedom to maybe 8, and Apex maybe turns it down to 5, and Call of Duty turns it down to 2 to 4, depending on the Call of Duty game. 
Uh, does that make sense? I think that's very interesting that there is a spot that there are a couple of different spots that feel really good, but turning it all the way up is not good. <laughs> uh, not, probably all the way down is a unique, not good. Yeah, turning the movement dial all the way down to one or zero would be like Hunt Showdown, maybe. <laughs> Which, I guess it's not that it doesn't feel good, but it is very inaccessible. I think that's interesting. Um, by making positioning either irrelevant, Warframe PvP, or hyper-important, uh, Hunt Showdown, to the point where if you don't have ridiculously good aim or flawless positioning, you just automatically die. <laughs> uh, it just makes the games very inaccessible. Anyway, a bit of a tangent, but I just think that's really interesting. Um, Titanfall 2 and, and Apex Legends are definitely designed for the freedom of movement they, they have. Okay, I'd like to read your spoilered out part now. Um, you said, I feel like uh, the Titanfall 2 IMC pilot's rotation potential would be really insane. Like, even on flat ground, you can still move insanely fast if you're decent at slide hopping. Basically, Valkyrie ult with a way lower profile on only one person, as well as just being really hard to hit while moving. Yeah, I... Um, Again, I think you would definitely be good at, at dueling people at slow, short to medium range, and it would be really difficult to hit a player moving at these speeds. The other thing about slide hopping, right, is like uh, a less celebrated but no less powerful aspect of Titanfall 2 movement is the ability to air strafe. In Titanfall 2, you had kind of um, Horizon has this passive. You can move very freely while you're in the air. You can move a lot while airborne. And combining that with the ability to slide hop really quickly gives you incredible agility while flying around, uh, which allows you to avoid getting shot with impunity. Uh, it's extremely difficult to hit a character like that. Now for Horizon, this is balanced out because she doesn't have any way to move laterally very quickly, but this character would. So indeed, it would be hard to defeat them in a gunfight in an open area. But again, I think the problem is that that wouldn't make you win Apex Legends. You would just beat one player and kill them, but then have no advantages once it got to the end of the game. I suppose if you butt scoot all over the entire map and kill everybody, then you would win or something, um, I guess, you know? And now there's a little line here at the end that makes me afraid that I've misinterpreted this whole parlay. You said, slower time to kill though, so who knows? Oh, you just mean uh, Apex Legends has a slower time to kill than Titanfall 2, so maybe that level of aggression isn't as valuable. Yes, I think that's true. Uh, also hooking into my point about the types of weapons available in Apex Legends. Um, one other detail I didn't mention, actually, since you brought that up, is that the ability to move from kill to kill really quickly, like, you may just run out of ammo <laughs> in a way that you wouldn't be as worried about in uh, Titanfall 2. You also have a, a maybe not more unlimited, but um, there's just so many players. There's so many people sometimes. If you hot drop as this character, I mean, you can kill people real good, real quick, but there's like 20 people all in one place sometimes. There's only so many times you can dunk on people using your air strafing, bunny hopping before like somebody's eventually going to hit you, you know? <laughs> so I, uh, that's, that's a thought as well. Um, anyway, really interesting. I, uh, I wouldn't have thought I would have such a low opinion of the, 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 our poor IMC pilot. Um, it'd be cool if for their ultimate, you could call him a Titan. Uh, you could make a whole like Titanfall 2 pilot character. And we have some characters at least related to pilots. Our Valkyrie is like fairly similar to feeling like a pilot, uh, I think. But um, it's almost like she has a very mini Titan uh, as her abilities, but uh, with all the slowness but power that comes with that. Uh, anyway, interesting. Uh, I, I don't think they would be good, though. I think they like, of course, they'd be good at killing one person. Uh, but I, I don't know. I feel like the lack of ability to pressure with their abilities is a, a kind of insurmountable trade-off. And then you could give them the very overpowered ability to cook a grenade in a game where you can't do that, I think. Uh, but that would make everybody ridiculously salty and probably be th the death of Apex Legends is something that anybody took seriously. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> easy come, easy go, right? Uh, I really hope they make another Titanfall game. They probably won't. But uh, yeah, thank you for this question. I played a lot of Titanfall 2 a while ago, and it was fun to get back into thinking about that.